What's up guys, welcome back, to, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, um, you guys are about to see a lot of progress get done with the E90 M3, so the E90 M3, I haven't really showed it on the channel that often, mainly because I actually got the car sent out to get that little piece in the cylinder head um, pretty much fixed, um, when I say cylinder head, it's, it's, it's so minor, like it's such a major word to say for such a minor issue, so the only issue really what was going on is that two of the holes that mount uh, the front plates that where the valve cover sits on top, there's a front plate on M3s, and uh, that plate, two of the screws were stripped and basically the oil was seeping straight through it because the holes were stripped. So we honestly just got that taken to a shop. They re-threaded those holes um, and we just put in new bolts and honestly, it's perfect. So that was honestly like just mind boggling considering that this car was considered mechanically totaled and it was such an easy thing to do. Um, it's just not for me. I don't want, I don't like drilling holes into cylinder heads or engine stuff and things like that to re-thread. I just, in the back of my head, I was like, what if metal goes through to the other side and yada, yada, yada. So I was like, you know what, let me just take this out into a professional shop I got it towed down um, they took care of that and actually I sent out the computers over to Nick um, and he actually got those like reprogrammed and you guys about to see me actually put the computers in and actually give it a proper startup so everything into like this video is going to show you guys the progress that's been going on with this car behind the scenes as we're working on the E91 M3 and I'm happy to say that literally I was about to see that this is probably one of the biggest blessings in my life this car because a lot of the parts that we're getting off this car like the KW suspension the apex wheels the supercharger we're taking those things off that's probably over like ten thousand dollars of mods and we're gonna be putting on to our e91 m3 and then this car is an absolute blessing and it's gonna help us get that r8 dream by the end of this year so i'm um, definitely happy that i was able to get this car it's an amazing car and yeah there were so many things we had to actually replace in this video too to just make it look more of an m3 and just you know get it back to factory because factory looks amazing so if you guys do enjoy this video make sure to smash the like button a lot of time went into making this video and a lot of money so uh yeah please smash the like button for your boy So we just went ahead, replaced the DME, replaced the key, which this one doesn't look like it's working exactly. I'm hoping once I put in the ignition, it'll start up. But uh, the key cast has been replaced. The reason we replaced it all is because we tried resetting this car, and then we uh, we, we, actually, we tried reflashing this car back to stock. But unfortunately, I think the DME was locked from the tuning company. So uh, yeah, I, and now we, I think we bricked it because now the key won't even recognize the old DME. So long story short, I'm hoping it'll crank because you guys know we got this thing started. Yeah. And, uh, and oh, it wasn't man. able to start anymore on the original DME. So we swapped to the DME cast, kept the original key so all the locks and everything else works. Uh, so fingers crossed, guys, will this start up? Here, pop the hood. Starts. For our first startup. Well, that's running so well. It's running smooth now. It's so smooth. right here um but look at that engine mate bro that's looking totally good totally stock running good stock dme now the only thing we have to do now is just code the dme to the car so the vin numbers match um so when it goes to smog and stuff like that we're not gonna have any issues um so we do have to send out the dme and cast to get coded but it starts up it runs and actually this dme and cast key came from an 08 manual m3 sedan so it's literally the exact same part same number thing. yeah oh. I, I, bro, I literally looked at the exact part numbers i got the exact same thing that's so good, that's good yeah buddy guys all right i'm so stoked okay so next thing's next i'm gonna go ahead and take out all the stuff ship it out let's go ahead and start working on the rear end of the car because i want to start you know fixing as much things on this car as possible
later, I'm back with the E90 M3 in the garage and I finally have some good news. We can finally drive it. Hypothetically, hypothetically, we can finally drive it. The reason I have so much confidence is that because I didn't do this work, my boy Nick did. <laughs> So we've been working together for five years now, literally on every single one of my BMWs, which I appreciate you for. And right now, he actually flew out to help me with the E91 project because that is a pretty big project. We have a lot of wiring to do. We're gonna retrofit keyless entry. Um, we're installing an MBT Evo. And then what else are we doing? We did keys. Keys, cluster, DME. So many things, guys. You guys, you guys are about to find out everything that's going on at the E91, but big things to come. And especially with this guy, you know, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be solid. Uh, but anywho, as of this point, we installed the DME, we installed, um, what's it called, the cast, and uh, yeah, I, we have the new keys. You made us two, two new keys. new keys. Oh, that's good, that's so mint. So we're gonna go ahead and start it up. Hopefully the idle is back to normal. For those of you guys who don't know, well, the first time we started up this car, the car was basically like misfiring because it had a tune for the supercharger and the supercharger um, fuel injectors. So that all being said, uh, we bricked that DME. <laughs> We got another DME, we got everything coded. Everything should be legitimately perfect. Um, and when we start this thing up, it should idle perfectly and we should be able to drive it down the block and back perfectly. So all that being said, uh, you nervous? Nope. I love his confidence. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get inside the car and give it a start up. All right, so I got my slides on guys, probably not the best way to drive a manual, but all we need to hear is a good sounding engine. Oh no, we gotta turn off the speakers. Okay, it started. It's not bogging out. No. We gotta check engine light. I think we just have to clear a few codes. Yeah. Give it a rev. That's a good idle, that's a pretty good idle. So it has a rev limiter on right now at 6,000 RPMs. We're gonna go ahead and just give it a little rev. It's smoking a little bit. Smoke a little bit. I mean, that, that makes sense. It's also cold. Yeah, it's because it's cold. That's pretty much what it is.
so far so good guys it is driving the heater does work no lights so far um, I did hear a weird whistling sound when I hit about 40 miles an hour Let's see what that is probably when we hit the freeway right now I'm not gonna lie guys I'm pretty stressed with this first drive we replaced so many things on this car for a first drive like <laughs> but I mean your boy does good work so I do have faith in myself and that's the reason why you know I'm driving with no one else with me I have high hopes that this should be able to make this trip on the freeway right now guys looking good looking good again a really random squeal sound will happen out of nowhere but other than that really good definitely needs this this car definitely needs to warm up and drive properly it has not been driven in a while but temperatures look good steering wheel is not vibrating I'm just gonna head to the gas station real quick <laughs> Honestly, everything's been going super smooth. The only thing is the rear dust shield is rubbing against the rotor in the rear. That's, that's just because I think it, I think I bent it when I was doing the, the rear wheels, but that's not a big deal. I can go ahead and bend that back. Other than that, guys, so far so good. Steering is literally perfect, like no vibration of nothing. So yeah, everything's gravy in the Navy. So it looks like we are making it to our uh, alignment appointment. Hey guys, we made it to the alignment shop, no problem, which is a huge plus. So at this point, we are next to uh, my boys over here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop off the car and then head to my boys. So we just got the alignment done and oh my god, it's so straight. I haven't took out like a main road yet, but just driving it right out of their shop. Oh, it's so straight. They even said, because it is technically a clean title. I mean, it is a clean title. I don't say why technically, because I got it for a good deal. I feel like it's not a clean title, but it is a clean title. And they literally said that this is like, it, it can't, it feel, like the alignment, they, they spec it as if it was came from the dealer. So they did such a good job. And it also was very easy to do because um, it was never involved in an accident. And nothing actually got shifted and the subframes and all that stuff was never removed. So long story short, super happy with that. No lights on the dash right now. Alignment's feeling really good. Let's head down and just get that new clock spring now. Guys, this thing is so perfect. The alignment is so straight. Oh my, I never had an alignment this good. So uh, shout out to Naz, like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. No lights on the dash and I'm enjoying this car. I'm driving this car. I've been driving the i3 for like the last month daily driving it and driving a manual V8. I cannot wait till the E91 M3 build is finally finished. I can just drive that thing every single day. Oh, I cannot wait, guys. Gas prices also went down a little bit, so, you know, I think it went down like a dollar since the last time I drove like a month ago, so definitely feels better um, when I filled up this car uh, this time. But, um, anyways, oh, God bless, God bless. That's all I gotta say. This this, this build, this particular build was a blessing to, uh, I mean, hopefully it's, you know, continues to run strong for even the next owner, uh, but it's been a blessing in my life to help me get a lot of parts for the E91 M3 build, and it's also gonna be a blessing uh, to also help us accomplish the dream of the R8, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, by the end of this year. That's, that's obviously the goal. Anything can happen between now and then, and uh, we just gotta keep our fingers, you know, crossed and just pray, you know, everything goes good. All right, guys, so I just got a specialized German right over here, and they gave me a replacement, no problem, so shout out to them. Uh, this car has been an absolute beaut so far. I've been loving driving this thing. Um, that This radio too, guys, honestly, is in perfect shape. Normally, these radios are pixelated, and you guys can see, that just looks super crisp. I'm super happy about that, super happy with no lights. Let's go ahead and head down to smog, honestly, right now, and uh, let's just see if we can get this thing smog. And with no doubt, guys, we got the smog papers. It officially passed. I mean, I had a little bit of doubt. The only doubt I had is because it has a muffled delete. I was like, maybe we wouldn't pass, but... We pass, boys. So definitely, we're gonna be trying to fix every little thing, hopefully here in the near future, so we can get this thing up for sale and hopefully get the Audi R8. But I'm super happy we got a smog. It's been driving, it's been lovely. The alignment's been amazing. Honestly, guys, I cannot wait to be sitting in my E91 M3. I love this, I mean, this car is amazing. My E91 is only gonna be way better, but this car is honestly amazing. I, I, I love the E90 M3 chassis. I think it's one of my favorite M3s ever made. The E36 and E46 are okay to me. Uh, the F chassis, not really my favorite favorite, uh, but I love the interior on the F80s. The G chassis is pretty nice, but just way out of budget. So for the money, I do believe the E90X chassis M3s are the best bang for the buck. Um, it's just fuel economy. But uh, other than that, everything's great in the Navy. Thank the Lord, gas prices are actually going down. And just like that, guys, we are at the end of the video. Uh, we made so much progress on this build, guys. It's been absolutely insane. As of right now, we just need to get the rear bumper painted. The car needs to be polished and interior detailed. And once all that stuff is sorted, it's going to be a mint clean title. M3, 112k miles, Alpine white, which is a very, very, 
very rare, rare, rare spec, single hump manual, Alpine white in clean title. So this is like, like honestly, it's it's an amazing car um, for me to be able to actually get, make money off of and flip and hopefully get the R8, get the parts off. It just worked out for me significantly and I'm just very, very, very blessed to have gotten this car in the first place. Honestly, when I bought the car, I didn't even know it was Alpine white underneath the wrap. I just knew uh, there was a wrap on it and I, I had a supercharger on it and that's honestly the reason I got the car. So it's just crazy that everything kind of worked out and you guys know we're super close to accomplishing our dream and this car is gonna be a huge part of it we just need to sell this car and move on so i'm actually putting this car up for around 24. um i feel like that is like three to four thousand below market um and I, I once we get everything sorted cleaned up on it you know detailed paint it's gonna be literally immaculate clean title m3 for 24 112k miles i think that's a pretty dang good price on it. whoever that ends up purchasing it as well i'm gonna try to thank them on the channel i'm gonna try to get them in the video because that person's gonna be helping us literally accomplish the r8 dream right after so uh yeah fingers crossed guys any of you guys want this m3 once everything gets dialed in let me know i'm gonna be sending it off to the paint shop in a few days here so uh yeah i'll keep you guys posted but without further ado that is gonna have to conclude the video the e91 m3 is really coming together i've been working on that even on thanksgiving uh and also uh happy thanksgiving for all you guys i appreciate you all that is my you know my appreciation if i have to thank anything in life it's honestly you guys i love you all so much um but yeah that's gonna have to conclude the video i love you all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you on the next one peace out